mother always encouraged me to get into art, uh, both of my parents really. I always drew when I was quite little. I remember teachers always said that you always used to cut and paste and draw all the time. Oh, I love to create. I, lo I love that a lot. And, and see the outcome of a painting. It's, uh, it's very relaxing. My mother took full of mind. Um, and um, before I was born, she found out that I was of the degree of deformity that I had. I went to special schools. Um, I didn't get into public school too much later in life. My family never treated me differently. It's outside that treated me differently. Um, you know, society back then was different than it is today. My mother uh, paid for private tutoring and uh, our classes. I've done it for so long now. You don't think twice of it, it's just, it's come like second nature, really. And you don't think of, well, this must be really difficult to do. You just adapt. This was when I joined the association. With all my works, we submit our paintings to the association for reproductions. Through cards and calendars and other related products we make, our living is through the sales of those. I love the independence of living alone. My art's been shown in various countries here in London or around London where I have my own little displays. And you're making my floral with. <laughs> so I just changed a couple things at your yeah. display and I hope you're good with that. It looks really nice. Good. good. Her nice art is probably the number one piece of art in the center. And then when they find out who Susie is, and what talent she brings, that's even more of a reason that attracts people to, to the display. Susie's art, so you see for yourself uh, when you see the paintings that she has uh, uh, with her, uh, that's one of the objects of the association. The better artists succeed to the top tier. Susie is at the top tier because her art is so good. Her income has increased as a consequence. First they're fascinated by what you're doing. Then they're fascinated on what you're creating. Then, then they would look at the wall and they, wow, that's really nice. Paintings, did you do that? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> wow, yeah, so I like to have people see that despite of anybody's disability, that they can overcome it and uh, adapt and make a living at what they love to do most, which is to paint, to create. It's great.